I wanted to let you know about a free 60 minute accidental counsellor training to help deal with the stress and anxiety of coronavirus, live and online. Hi, Rocky Biasi here. In 2008, I created the accidental counsellor training because of my experience as a high school teacher, school counsellor, also in private practice. Since that time, we've presented the accidental counsellor training to over 10,000 people both face-to-face -face and online across Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia. With the rapidly developing circumstances surrounding the COVID-19 virus, presenting the accidental counsellor training face-to-face -face is no longer possible for now because of the um, government bans and restrictions around travel and social gatherings. And yet the physical and mental health, social and economic impact that we're experiencing has unprecedented multiplier effects through all aspects of our lives. So in these uncertain and unprecedented times, many people are worried well, about what the future holds for their health, jobs, businesses and family and friends, especially the elderly. Mental health and well-being support is needed now. So for helpers like you who are often counselling or coaching or mentoring people in your care, you may be feeling helpless and uncertain yourself about how to best respond to other people's emotional distress. Along with your own, the Accidental Counselor Training is the same insight, same facilitator being me, with the same quality content with a different delivery method. And to help you discover how the training now looks, online, I've decided to present a free 60 minute live online accidental counselor training. And in it, I'll present seven tips to help deal with the stress and anxiety in these new and challenging times. Plus a process I took myself through when this first broke. Also, I'll go through the accidental counselor model three core themes well-being connection and influence well-being as an accidental counselor your focus on your well-being and self-care is essential to avoid burnout a focus on your well-being and self-care allows you to connect to the stories of pain and suffering that you hear from the people that you support the second concept is connect. When we connect to people's stories of pain and suffering by listening and acknowledging and validating their experience, it's with this deep connection that safety and trust increases and the person begins to calm down. Then, if appropriate, you can ask questions to help the person discover their next best step. And the third theme is influence, using practical solution focus questions and language patterns means that you're not actually giving advice, but more facilitating and empowering the person to take their next best step. Click the register button next to this video. There are only a hundred spots live. Please turn up early. And if you can't get on live, I'll send you a recording after you register. Thanks and bye for now.